In this episode, we get to the stopped and gooey center of the Celica's clutch. We also unbox a new clutch. And we lose another crewmate. Uh, oh no! So there's a uh, there's a bolt under the dash on a steering column you gotta get out. I need to put my face down in here. Yeah, it's kind of a weird looking bolt like that. They put my face down here and this carpet is ripe. It is very earthy. I am thinking it is uh it's pretty moldy. When I put the roll cage in and had the sunroof out, and uh this whole thing this whole thing filled with water. Or maybe it's you guys that aren't make the car stink. I don't know. So the strut's disconnected from the top. Sway bar end link is disconnected. All of the uh, the, the brake calipers dangling by the brake line. So don't ever do that because you'll ruin the brake the brake line. ABS sensors hanging there. So everything on the strut assembly is disconnected, other than the tie rod. So this also has a tapered fit. Break this loose. I don't want to little tops of this. If you try to pound on this with a hammer, you can bend these. If you pound on the top of this with a hammer, you will mushroom the head and then the nut won't go back on. So what I'm gonna do is take this nut, turn it over there, just put it on a couple threads. And again, you usually wanna use a pickle fork or some kind of wedge to break this loose, uh, but you, you risk damaging the boot. So I'm just gonna beat the heck out of it with a hammer right here on the tie rod. I'm sure that'll be, it'll be just fine. All right, so I pulled the Dan here. Yeah, what? I had to, uh, I'm, as I'm trying to pound on the tie rod, I had the top nuts out, so this whole thing was just bouncing up and down. So I had to secure it at the top so I can get enough force to pop the tie rod out. Subframe's out, the suspension's all off on both sides. Uh, steering rack's out, it's all ready to get cleaned up and painted. Definitely found some issues. It looks like there's a, uh, a valve cover leak. There's some, there's some leaks that need to be addressed. Uh, I believe it's a valve cover there's there's a, a few issues brakes probably put some new brakes on had lots of help from my friends brian did uh suspension on one side dan pulled the suspension on the other side brant i don't know what he was doing I had lots of help from joe pulling the subframe out so we are about ready to pull this apart here. Um, I think this transmission's ready to come out. Now when you're doing this, you got you gotta be careful. There's several grounds up on the top. You wanna make sure they're all disconnected. There's several spots where the main wire harnesses are connected to the transmission. You wanna make sure those are disconnected. You don't wanna pull this out and yank those wire harnesses out. You wanna make sure everything's disconnected. This axle, I could not get this axle out. I don't know what the problem is, but it is stuck in there. Uh, you wanna make sure you don't dangle your brake calipers from the brake lines like that. That right there, you see that? Yeah, don't do not do that. So we are about ready to yank this thing out. Uh, I, the last time I did it, we pulled it out on the dirt. So the dirt has a little bit of give, so I wasn't too worried about it. On this asphalt, I'm worried if I drop this transmission, I will. I'm worried I could crack the case or break the case. So uh, we put out some nice, put out a bit of a tarp. There's some floor mats. There's a, a do door mat for the house. So th this should hopefully help cushion that a little bit if it ends up dropping. We're gonna try to carefully lower it down with my crewmates here so we don't break it. And I'm just gonna make a last minute check here. All right, we're working on prying the transmission out here. Joe's working the pry bar to get this separated. And we're gonna, gonna yank this thing out. All right, this transmission's kind of heavy. I wanna be careful here. Dan, I don't think you wanna be down there. Brandon, I don't know what you're thinking. Just taking for a ride right there. So we should be able to, oh, uh oh. Brent fell off. Oh no! Oh. Yeah, that's not good. Well, we're down another, another crewmate. I'm sorry, Dan. We still got Joe, Brian, Brant, and Red, 
And we got the transmission out. Next is gonna be looking at this clutch and trying to figure out exactly what happened here. I have no clue. We're gonna have to take that, take that plate off and see if we can figure out what was going on. Can't be worn out already, can it? I think it's impossible. So there's the, there's a friction material right in here. It's still got friction material on it. Everything looks okay. I thought, I figured we probably had some springs broken, but they seem to be all right too. So let's take this apart and see if we can uncover more of the story. So there is the flywheel. It definitely has, uh, has some pretty, pretty gnarly hot spots on there. You can still see marks though from my original flywheel surfacing job with a flap disc. So I'm sure it was perfectly flat and worked out fine. Uh, now let's take a look at the clutch and pressure plate. There is the pressure plate. It has seen better days for sure. I don't know how that happened. And there's the uh, clutch disc. I don't know if that's from uh, launching it too hard, slipping it too much, getting it too hot, but that definitely has a little bit of damage. All right, here's a box of new clutches in. I haven't opened it up yet. I don't know what it looks like. I'm gonna see it for the first time with you. All right, let's open this up. This should be a complete clutch assembly. There is the pressure plate, or clutch plate, clutch plate. This is a stage three racing clutch. Well, it's a stage three clutch. The stage four doesn't have springs in it. I gotta do, I'm in stop and go traffic, so I gotta have at least a little bit of give. So we will see how this clutch does, holds up with uh, first time teenage drivers. This is the pressure plate, which looks pretty close to the one that's in there. So maybe we will destroy this one too. I hope not. This should last a while, I hope. But it sure does look a lot like the one that was in there. Let's check that number, ST98617. And then, uh, of course, there's a new throw-out bearing, clutch alignment tool, pilot bearing, which, uh, these cars don't have a pilot bearing, which is kind of weird, but what it is, I guess. And then, this is supposed to be a lightweight flywheel as well for the stage three clutch assembly. This whole setup actually, when I looked at a good quality clutch, plus getting the flywheel turned, this actually didn't cost that much more. So I think it was uh, 50 or $80 more to go with a complete brand new flywheel, brand new everything over uh, getting the flywheel turned. All right, good job guys. Ryan, Red, Joe, holding that pry bar. We're gonna try to get this, get this flywheel off here. Yep, had to use the two-foot breaker bar to break all these loose, but I think uh, we're making some progress now. I wonder what the torque spec on these is. I'll probably figure that out before I put this back together. That'd be a good thing to know. Spent a lot of time pressure washing everything. There was a lot of grease and oil on a lot of this. So I gotta take a trip to the store. I need to get a few parts and then uh, let this dry. So this might be it for today. After several hours of pressure washing, it was very cold, everything was wet. Uh, no plushies were harmed in the making of this episode. Still riding shotgun. That's where we're gonna conclude part two. We'll see you next time.